So, uh, you know, you were talking about the uh, the availability of historic buildings and, mm -hmm. you know, there's space here to actually come and, and create something new. And you guys have done that here in Oak Hill. I mean, talk a little bit about this building that we're in and, you know, yeah. what you've done with it. And you've attracted other people to this space because yeah, of Yeah, sure. Um, so we're in a building that we call the Bell Land. It's about a 10,000 uh, square foot building that was built in 1930. It's a, it's a brick structure, uh, has um, a lot of uh, mixed format construction in it. There's a uh, steel structure and wood in it. It's been an, an experience renovating it. And we um, decided when we purchased the building that we wanted to do something special or the renovation. And we're attempting to be the first um, LEED certified existing building that's privately, privately owned in the state. In fact, it would be the only privately owned lead building in the state and essentially what that means is that's a standard that um, was created by uh, the US Green Building Council and essentially just refers to trying to utilize um, energy efficient and um, cons conservation minded practices during the renovation and um, you know it's definitely been a learning process a really fun experience um, trying to figure out how to do that but it has been sort of a, a great way to start a conversation with prospective tenants about coming and working this building uh, because they were attracted to that idea. And we actually have now um, attracted an environmental litigation firm that was based out of Tallahassee that was doing some work in West Virginia and they now have a headquarters here. We have a software engineer who uh, was traveling to West Virginia every weekend from the DC area to uh, climb. And once he found out about this office space, he just decided, you know, I can move my family here you know and this really you know he he's a telecommuter so it doesn't matter where he really lives and uh, instead of driving to the place where he wants to uh, recreate he's now living here we have a lady that works for uh, National Park um, Conservancy and uh, you know I think that all of our tenants were uh, motivated to want to transact with us because and, and become part of this um, idea because it was different and special and it was uh, conservation minded.